Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and we are back here on. Well, we're not back here on. We are on a completely new mod pack. This is a mod pack showcase for FTB's new mod pack, Sky Adventures. Now, everybody's been expecting now a expert pack for from FTB on uh, Skyblock. This is not. This is not it. All right guys so i don't want you guys to be confused um this is a fun pack you jump on you uh you're in a skyblock world and uh you uh have fun just do whatever you want to do <laughs> now i am going to go into the game i do want to show you this kind of stuff and then i'll bring you back when the game is loaded here so i have a world here we won't go into that one now um We'll go test world for this one. Version one. You go down to more options. If you if there's more options here, I don't know if that matters. Uh, but under board where you can go to customize, there are different maps. There's the usual maps. You can split between these. All right. This is their kind of stuff here. The usual. Finger tree, that kind of stuff. I'm gonna go to cancel because we want the one that they generated. They have a map of their own. Uh, we want the cheats on here, and uh, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and create worm. Let this load in. Tell you what, guys, I'll bring you back when we're loaded in. Be right back. You know what? Uh, I'll bring you back in a second, guys. Apparently it won't. It won't let me. It wouldn't let me cut my recording while it was loading. So <laughs> this is the map. This is the map here. This is the Giving Tree. Uh, if you're on a server, I believe you start on an island that kind of looks like this, and then you can spawn your own island in. I don't know if they'll be running their own servers, but that's kind of the way it works. Over here, you have a bear trap. Now. Before you do anything else in this pack, all right, before you do anything else in this pack, there is one thing that you will need to do. I will cover this again when I do my quick start guide, all right, but you will want to open your options here. You want to go here and you want to turn it to full full screen. You want to hit resource pack here and you want to hit this button here, open resource pack folder. Once you do that, you'll want to go to the configs. And you want to change the configs in the chisel. All right. You will need a app from the Windows Store or whatever to open the actual file to to change it until they change it. All right. But you need to go in there and go down to the one that says concrete. All right. The one I, the one in mine says white concrete. All right. And you want to change that setting in there from 1.3 whatever to one. Just change it to one. Save it, exit, you'll have to exit the game and reload the game. Once you do that, all the blocks here will not have to give you a speed bonus so you don't run off the edge because every single block along the edge here has a speed bonus on it by default. All right, you'll want to do that. You have been warned. <laughs> all right, so um, I have two books. I have the FTB Quest book, and as you can see, the mod for that is FTB Quest. So they have their own quest mod that goes along with the FTB utilities now. It's called FTB Quest. And then the Tox Tomb here, as you can see here, has every possible book you could possibly want in it. We're going to move that out of our inventory. Start out with this big tree here. I'm not going to mess with anything. It says the Giving Tree. Um, uh, or excavator is on this, so you can break the stuff by 
holding your book in your hand and then holding the tilde key and then breaking the thing. You can do that with the leaves also. Um, this is the fishing pond, old fishing hole. Um, I don't know if there's anything surprising in here. Uh, around the map, there's various little coarse dirt, regular dirt, dead branches. Don't break these. If you break these, you'll get sticks, but don't do that. All right? Don't do that. So if we go here to dead bush here, we hit this, and then we go to uses. Um, I forget. I forget, but I believe you can use Project E to uh, do some of these. Leave these here for now. Don't break them until you absolutely positive that you can't do anything with them. Um, this is the uh, shrine, we'll call it. There is stairs leading up. So you just go up here, go up here. Uh, if you look around here, you'll see there is painted glowstone. So some of these blocks aren't actual blocks. They're painted glowstone. All right. So be mindful of that. Look around. Can't seem to, I don't know if there's one down here. But, but uh, they are around. So try to keep the light up. And uh, right here, you have two things up here. You have T Fox 83's grave. All right. And then you have this sign here that says some kind of temple question mark. All right. I don't usually like to post spoilers, but people are starting this pack and they're going nuts. All right. And they don't realize this. So I'm going to post this in this video here. I will also cover it on the quick start guide this weekend. I'll be doing that and it'll be posted this weekend sometime, Saturday, Sunday, something like that. But come up here, break this. This will give you the Philosopher's Stone. All right. Now you can you can change blocks if you highlight the blocks. If it can change, it'll show you. All right. You can't do nothing. Can't do nothing with that. So you can go ahead and break these if you want. You can get shears and pick them up. And do something with them if you want to do that. Blocks that can be changed will highlight like this. All right. Click it to change it. All right. Screw. Oak, jungle, big, uh, dark wood, oak wood. Got me? Leaves. You change these. Bird. Jungle. Acacia. Dark oak. <laughs> you got it? You got it? All right. You can also charge it up by holding down the right click. You guys know how to use Project E. If you're not, you can also hit you here, and there's recipes in here. Uh, you can use this as a crafting bench. So you don't have to do a crafting bench at the start, but uh, I I would only use this to do conversions or do the world transformation stuff. Uh, so these are the recipes for that. All of these, and as you click over, you'll um, find that there's recipes in here that don't require you to use the philosopher's stone. Those are because you can use this philosopher's stone as a crafting bench, and I'll show you that in a second. All right, and as you can see here, the transmutation table has the default recipe. You will have to get obsidian, all right, in order to get this. And that's pretty much it for that. <clears throat> you can shift, you can right click. I don't remember how to do it. Well. Let's see, let's see. Oh, crap, good. Okay, so see, there we go. Oh, that's the HUD. <coughs> Hold on, we'll fix that. Joel's, uh, so complex. Let's see, mm. There we go. And then we'll hold C. And there's the crafting grid. All right. So you can craft in there if you need to. Um, second, this sign. Pick it up. Do whatever you want with it. I'm going to set it over here. Right here is a trap door. You see that? You want to break this. 
If not, you can't get back up. <laughs> All right, and you go down here. All right, and I'm going to go back up for a second, and we're going to get a couple of pieces of wood off this tree here. And I'm going to need a pick too, so I'm going to cheat just for this episode just so I can get through here. Pick will get us just a, uh, a diamond one. It's fine. Go ahead and take the blues off here. Give you. Now be careful. Some of these just have cobwebs and nothing underneath them, so be mindful of that. And you want to come over here as you're going. You want to replace stuff. If you if you do come down here and you don't have a pick, make sure that you bring some wood with you. Okay. There we go. And there's a chest here. All right. There's a sign here that says "Rest in peace, Rip Fire Clucky." All right. You go in here. You see that we have a lava egg. We have a piece of raw chicken, and we have a spawn egg here for a water chicken. All right, it takes 20 or so minutes to get a water egg from that spawn chicken. All right, so you are going to have to um, get that as soon as possible, take it up there, place it down. All right, place it down in the world. I will cover that on my uh, my quick start guide, how to do that. All right. Also, right here is a sky chest, and it has all of your applied energistics, uh, inscribers, presses stuff. Um, none of these have EMC. As you can see, some stuff that you have do have EMC on it. Some don't. And that's because this pack is based off of not only Ex Nihila type stuff, but also uh, Project E. And that's how you're going to progress through the mod. All right. There is the actual quest book here. This is what it looks like. You have tabs at the top here. Switch between the quest. This questing mod has its own currency in it that you will get for actually doing quests. You'll get this. Uh, as part of the quest, you'll get a wallet. You can keep all your money in. Uh, there are recipes in the actual system to change stuff over. And there's a reward store here. All right. And you can buy stuff in the reward store. And if you scroll over, it tells you how much it is. You can click on that, and it'll tell you what you're getting. All right. So uh, some of the stuff that you can get in here, you cannot find. They've locked it out. All right. So like, like this doesn't say that. But if you come over here. Well, the, some of the stuff has been locked out, so you can't you can't find it. You can just buy it in here. Uh, for me, that's awesome because I don't have to go around looking for it. I don't have to worry about it. I can just come in here and just spend the money that I've gotten from my quest and then buy the stuff that I want, like creative modifiers, <laughs> a huge mega torch that I don't have to worry about. Yeah, see see how that says right there? Must be bought with currency and FTB quest book. So. There are certain items that you can only buy, like this. You can't get worms anywhere else. You have to buy the ones through here. That kind of stuff. So, there are lots of different sections here. The only thing left that I can show you guys is. Oh, look at this. Uh huh. Come with that. All right. Uh, make sure some of these quests here, if you go through these quests, some of these quests will give you loot crates from the mod. They are really, really good. Really, really good. All right. And they will give you really, really good items. Make sure you save those. Uh, let's go through the actual mod list here alphabetically. And you guys can pause it here 
and take a look at the mods. Uh, there's a couple of that I don't know what they are, but you guys probably will. You pause the video, look at it. Extra trees, extra bees. Uh, there's something in here for everybody. You can do whatever you want. You don't even have to do the quest if you don't want to. You just put the book up. But uh, I would, I would do the quest. At least the ones you want to do. Uh, I'm also going to show you something else. There's solar arrays. Yeah. Lots of mods. I'm trying to go slow enough to where you guys can pause it for yourself. There we go. Or excavator. Project E, quantum storage. Refined storage is also in here, just so you guys know, you don't have to do IE2. You can do refined storage if you want. Both of them's available for you. There is actually quests for both of them, so if you're if you're going to try to do all the quests in the quest book, um, you'll have to do both of them, even if you don't like both of them. If you're that type of person that that likes like a completionist type thing, you'll have to do that. Uh, team islands that I believe that lets you make teams, so you can play multiplayer and single player mode. One probe. Go leveling. There you go. So that's all the mods in there. And uh, I think that's going to cover it. It's going to cover it. This is kind of a short little video here. Uh, I can actually show you the rest of the island uh, from a distance. We'll probably grab us a bed real quick. Make it daytime. Bed. Bed. There we go. That's the bed. Pop that down there. Go ahead and make it morning. We'll grab us a jetpack. Jetpack. If I know how to spell it. There we go. We'll get resident. That's fine. Resident here and um, what's I don't know if you can spawn in pre generated batteries. Yeah, there we go. Let me just turn it on. That's filling up the power there. Oh, yeah. Ow. Oh, yeah, hover mode. <laughs> Um, no one. Nope. Options, controls. Other mm. mode is L, straight M. Um, six. There we go. There we go. Come out here. This is what the outside of the uh, thing looks like. As you can see, there's special hidden little things like over here. There's some order crystals started in uh, <coughs> almost back. And on the bottom here, the bottom. There you go. Now, I have not looked everywhere on the map. And I have not been to Nether. I'll let you guys discover some stuff on your own. Um, but that's pretty much the map. Up there. There's nothing in tree either. They might have some more stuff hidden somewhere. But I'll let you guys discover that. I think that's going to do it. So uh, this weekend I will get a quick start guide up. If you guys have something to... Uh, uh, follow along with at the beginning to get you started. Um, don't forget, <laughs> don't forget, there is way to make cobble gin. All right, it'll take you about 30 minutes after you start. So get the chicken, get it up here, put it down. Make sure it's protected. Get your timer running on it so you can get your first water egg. All right, and then uh, get that up and running. 
so you can get your coffee in. Anyway, guys, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when you have new when I have new videos out. You guys can come check it out. So if you like it. if you like this episode, you want to share it with your friends, tell them what you like it. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put it down in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on my social media pages. Don't forget to set your notification settings on your notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.